This is a case of a vestibular schwannoma in a 28-year-old female with left-sided tinnitus and hearing loss. The lesion, which arises within the internal auditory canal on the left, demonstrates heterogeneously hypo-intense signal on the sagittal T1-weighted sequence. The fat-saturated axial T2-weighted sequence demonstrates a heterogeneously hyperintense lesion extending to and expanding the ipsilateral left cerebellar pontine angle with effacement of the left brachium pontus and lateral aspect of the left cerebellar hemisphere. There is also a small volume of perilesional edema present within the left middle cerebellar peduncle. The flare-weighted image demonstrates a heterogeneously hyperintense mass expanding the left internal auditory canal with flaring of the left porous acousticus. There are no suspicious findings on the diffusion-weighted images. The lesion demonstrates heterogeneous but avid post-contrast enhancement. Schwannomas originate from the perineural Schwann cells and may differentiate into fibroblastic or myelin-producing cells. Schwannomas may demonstrate two different types of histology, Antony A and Antony B. Antony A tissue is more fibrous, resulting in darker, darker signal on the T2-weighted images. Antony, Antony B tissue is more myxomatous and demonstrates higher signal on the T2-weighted images. The classic differential diagnosis for a lesion arising within or near the left internal auditory canal is vestibular schwannoma versus meningioma. One distinguishing feature of a schwannoma is expansion of the left internal auditory canal and flaring of the left porous, of the porous acousticus, as in this case.